Hi guys, Chef Olivier here. So today we're gonna talk chicken. There is different way of cutting a chicken. You can cut a chicken for saute, for fricassé, uh, for grilled, or all for roasting. Now what I'm gonna show you now is how to cut a chicken for saute. First thing we will do with the chicken, we will remove the wishbone. Every time that we get a chicken, a turkey, a duck, we have to remove the wishbone. So, next to the next to the back, next to the neck, just gonna cut through and get a wishbone out like this. We get a wishbone. Out. Then we will remove, we will cut the wings like that. Keep the wings. On both sides. We will turn our chicken, get the legs up, and push here. As we push on the legs, the two muscles which are here come up. Those muscles are the oysters. You want to cut above them like this with your knife and in between them. With the end of the knife, you're gonna make sure that you get those oysters off the bone. Then a small cut through the skin. And you can see here, with my thumb, I'm just gonna push the femur bones out to dislocate it, dislocate the joint. Then, that's my first leg. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take that little muscle here, take it off, cut my skin, dislocate my joint, and run my knife through, so I get my second leg. Okay, so I get two legs like that. Then, for the chicken saute, the idea will be to cook it in his own sauce, but to um, uh, sear it first. In order to make sure that your uh, uh, um, breast will not shrink, we're gonna keep it on the bone. And we're gonna remove the bone after. So, just gonna remove that part. Keep all the bones. The bones will be used to make stock. Um, you can make a white chicken stock, but for that recipe, the best thing to do will be to be a brown chicken stock. Uh, we're gonna talk about stock later in another video. Um, to make brown chicken stock, you will obviously have to roast your bones before you make your stock. So, I will go through and cut the bones here. So you see I'm keeping those bones because they will keep the shape of my breast while they're cooking. They will not reduce too much. If you don't keep the bones, you will have um, a different shape on your breast. So now I've got what we call double breast. I'm gonna go on top of the sternum, on each side of the sternum, and simply, like this, Now I've got one breast. Remove the sternum totally. Keep it for the for the stock and a second breast. So for now we get a chicken cut in four. Now we're gonna separate the thigh and the leg. It's really easy to do. You turn it on that inside, not on the skin, and you can see the line here. That line is basically an indication where you have to cut. If I pull the line, I'm right in the joint. I don't have to force. So I've got one leg, I got one thigh. Same thing on the other side. Turn it. Once again, that line here, just have to follow the line, and I'm right in the joint. Easy to cut. 
So for the thigh, I will debone the thigh by simply open on the bone and remove that bone which is the femur. All the excess skin that will all go in the stock for the leg. I'm simply going to cut around the bone like that. Place my knife there and cut through. In order to clean the knuckle like this, that also go in the stock. The idea of doing that instead of cutting through the bones is to avoid having blood and a red meat at the end because all the blood is in the marrow and if you get if you get into the marrow you're just gonna have a really red meat and you don't want you want to avoid that so you get here your two chicken legs your two chicken thigh and your two breasts